<laughs> we're back. Okay, so we're back. Um, this is our fourth movie, and the fourth movie is Sean's movie. And I'm going to um, represent represent Sean in this, and I hope I do you proud, Sean. But it's uh, Nobody's Fool, 1994. For nearly 40 years, he has delighted audiences with his wit, charm, sex appeal, and honesty. And now, you are invited to see one of the great actors of our time in a very special motion picture. Paramount Pictures presents Paul Newman. How about you and me go out there and get ourselves naked and then just see what happens? Okay. 60 years old, still getting crushes on other men's wives. I would hope by the time I'm your age, I'm a little smarter than that. Can't hurt to hope. Sure off to a slow start. In a movie you can count on. I could legally shoot you and get away with it. To surprise you at every turn. Not unless I'm breaking an enter. Are you gonna break an enter? <laughs> Does it ever bother you that you haven't done more with the life God gave you? Not often. Now and then. Nobody's fool. Uh, director Robert Benton, writer Richard Russo, and Robert Benton. R Robert, R Richard Russo wrote the book, and Robert Benton wrote the screenplay. I didn't know it was a book. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so the cast is like, forget Everybody about it. ever known it, in character it, actors. It's a clinic. <laughs> it's, like, it's like Paul Newman as Sully, Jessica Tandy as Miss Burl. Bruce Willis as Carl Roebuck. I'll write him. Right. Melanie Griffith as Toby Roebuck. Ugh. And Dylan Walsh as Peter, who is uh, uh, Scully, who is um, Paul Newman's son. And, and everybody else is the top character <clears throat> actor you ever met in your life. Yeah, but it's really um, kind of focused. Very. You know, it's, it's the, okay, so here, it, 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 it's, it about, it's a great movie, and and what makes a great is the story. The story is incredible. Anybody can relate to it. It's a small town guy, Paul Newman, who is relatively happy living on the French. Uh, he never really grew up. He gets work occasionally from a contractor, Carl Roebuck, who is Bruce Willis, and uh, he lives. He rents the room upstairs from his grade eight teacher. Miss uh, Miss Bur Miss Burl <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Miss Burl, who is Jessica Tandy, right? And she is wonderful in this too. I mean, everybody's wonderful. Ada. That's what's great. <clears throat> Everybody is great in it. He goes to this local bar. It's pretty much his adopted family. They're they're kind of these, you know. Um, it's small town living. Yeah, they're, that they're, you can totally relate to if you grew up in a small town. He was married, and he has a son, and he's kind of in strange. From them, he never he di he didn't grow up with his son. His son doesn't know him that right. well, and um, but his son is married and has two children. His marriage is kind of falling apart. And is he married in it? Yeah, Peter. His no. son? No, him. Yeah. I don't think he's wasn't he the divorce maybe? Yeah, he, I said no, he no, was no. he was oh, married. Okay. He had a son. Hello. Yeah, right. No, no, I got that. I, I thought you meant. Oh, he's, you mean his marriage falling Paul apart? Paul Newman the son. was married. He was at one time married. Yeah, right. But whose marriage is falling apart? His son, you mean? His son. Yeah. His son's marriage is falling apart, mm -hmm. and he's come back with one of the boys. He has two children, but he has coming back with one of the boys. Okay. Um, the performances are outstanding, and they're outstanding because... Okay, the other movie I did was Hamilton, which is very big and 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 broadway and you know it's out in there in your face yeah. and the, the performances were magnificent these performances are so reserved that they're magnificent also right i mean do you realize that and if you see this movie paul newman is in every scene he's in every scene yeah, in the movie it's true. and he just kind of he just plays it so relaxed. Okay, all these people are famous. All these people are famous. Right. And I usually hate movies where everybody's famous. <clears throat> she but, really but does. I, but I totally believed all the characters, and that says something yeah. about the acting. Yeah. But the acting wasn't was the exact opposite of big acting. It was 
knowing what not to say, what not to do. Timing, what, everything. You know, just, it, it was a clinic. That's what I'm saying. It was a clinic. Yeah. No, and I really see why he never gets, he always gets nominated for Academy Awards, but he never, never gets wins. them. Yeah, right. It's because he's perfect. He doesn't, he doesn't try and shine in the scene. He's no. not, he's not taking over the scene. Never. He's he's just part of the scene always. So I was just so impressed with this movie. I really loved it. It's actually a very happy movie. Um, you know, it's like I cried, I laughed. And mm -hmm. um, so it's like him kind of reconnecting and kind of maybe growing up a little uh, with his son and his grandson and doing the things for his grandson that he had never done with his son. Right. So I, I just really suggest you see this movie. This was uh, shot. I was like, oh, I, I never. I don't even remember that movie. It was like the cast is unbelievable. So yeah, I think it was nominated for something. I, I, I might have been a, a. You have to look that up. Yeah, <laughs> I do. I do. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Who's next? Me. Yeah. You, George. Yeah, you. I, I enjoyed it too. I think it's kind of like a. You know, there's he's a uh, kind of like a fuck up. Yeah, he's a fuck <laughs> so, up. Exactly. But he has but to, he has. but he has to grow up, and it shows you that you grow up when you're there. You grow up when you're 15 or 25, or in this case, 60 something. Yeah. You know, yeah. That time comes where you have to be an adult. So he's kind of a, uh, and he's like reconnecting with his family. Yeah, I think uh, uh, everybody. I mean, like I said, from Melanie Griffith all the way to oh, yeah. Bruce Willis, the acting was amazing. Like I said, all these people show case great acting chops in this film. It felt to me like. I could have jumped in, been dropped off in a neighborhood, and, and, and it felt so normal, like every, yes. everyday life. Like, what if we have a dinner party and the people we know, that would be them. It's just that not, not, nobody's over the top. Everything's just, right. feels, they felt like real people. Yeah. It was a really and sweet they were, story. They were kind of characters. They were yeah. all really interesting characters. But yeah. it's not, not true. If you look at all your friends, everybody's a character. Yeah. They were a character. But it's very understated, right. so you don't really right. see it. Yeah. And, uh, and two things as a. Uh, uh, I think Jessica Tandy died a few months after doing this movie. Yeah, she did. So, and that was the last movie she did. And uh, somebody said that Paul Newman has the face that, she, that, that, that you see in Roman coins. Yeah. <laughs> I said, like, that guy's so I can see why. You know, but it was quite popular. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, I enjoyed this. A slice of life, very entertaining, very sweet. And uh, yeah, and, and, and it kind of is slow. It's really slow, but but it keeps you. Yes, really. Latched on to it yeah. the whole time. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, enjoy it. yeah, so I, I really love this movie. It's a very quiet movie, what they call quiet movies, which is usually great acting. Uh, everything, it, there's nothing that stands out. Like, it's not dramatic. But what it does is everybody's lines, because of great acting, and it is takes great acting to be able to make everything sound like, oh, I've been there. I've, I've heard that. I've seen that. And that's why I love this movie because it's so well done, and all the extras or not I won't even call them extras. That's wrong. All the <clears throat> excuse me, Car the, the, the character actors. There's a million character actors, and everybody you see is oh I know them, I know them, I know them, but you don't know their name. But they are so intricate into the whole story, and the story is so sweet. I I just loved it. And he carries it off so well. It's just real casual. Well, the thing is, is you know, there is that kind of, as George calls it a fuck up, right? What he's, fuck up? Paul Newman was a fuck up. Yeah, he His was. His character yeah. was. But he's not an unlikable person. No, he's very likable. He's I very mean, likable. fuckable I'm, people I, I, are very likable. And, and, and that's what I was saying in the thing, too. There's like the, because it's so, um, it's so understated, all the, the, the heroes are understated. The victories are understated. I mean, I even cried when his best friend, who's a guy that I can't even remember his name, but he's I've seen him. He's slow. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> is, is worried that he won't be his best friend. I mean, I teared up at that. I mean, it's that kind of movie. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, so, but everything's small, like, like the small victories, like the thing with the lawnmower. How it gets even with the right. lawnmower. I mean, these petty are petty things that really happen but it's in also, small you know, towns. But here's the thing: in small, small town, you know, where you you will steal something from somebody, and they'll steal they it back. Up, they don't get upset; they'll just steal it right back. You know? so it's, just, <laughs> it's, it's like a game. It, yeah, yeah, it's like a game. Yeah, it's like a game. There's no even even the the uh, I'll say even even the law enforcement they they know you. So in a way, they even the cop is afraid of. You know, 
Yeah, you know, right. Arrested you because they know you. So yeah, that's the, that's small town life. Yeah, yeah. I, and since I grew up in a small town, I totally related to this. But also, I don't think everybody could carry off a movie like no, this. I don't either. And that's why I think that the actors in this are We're so astounding. important. And and I read it. I read a thing about uh, Paul Newman, and they were saying. He, one word in a scene, because they were mentioning that he's right. in every scene. Yeah, that's true. They were saying the word humility. Yeah. It's like he never takes over a scene. No, but they always he's, say that about Paul Newman, is yes. that he gives to the scene, not yes. to the self. Yes. Yeah. Has and he won any Oscars? No. <laughs> oh, you were saying that. Because I don't mean he's not great. Right. It means he's got nominated a zillion times. Yeah. Hey, you but know? you know what? He's got some good salad dressing. <laughs> <laughs> and popcorn, don't forget about really that. He really does. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So um, are we ready to uh, yeah. score? Ready to score? Mm -hmm. I'd say a 10 because it's that kind of movie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I give it a 10 too. I, it's the slice of life. Uh, a 10, and if you're an actor, it's a clinic, so you should watch yeah. it. It's yeah. just amazing. Yeah. Of course, I'm not an actor. <laughs> we aren't, but if we you are. are. But if you are, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so this ends this edition of What the Flicks. You can contact us by email at whattheflickspodcast at gmail.com. You can watch this uh, podcast on YouTube, the video of this podcast on YouTube. We're really funny. Look for us on what the <laughs> flicks. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you can hear, and I can hardly see, George. It's so dark in here. <laughs> <laughs> it's, you but can it shows our good side. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Good lighting. <laughs> we, wanted the, we didn't have the soft lighting yeah. to take off the... Somewhere yeah. else. Yeah, so you can hear and download this podcast on Spotify. SoundCloud, SoundCloud, <laughs> iTunes, <laughs> it's Breaker. Uh, so... Until next time. Adios, muchachos. Bye bye. Adios. Adios. bye, -bye. <laughs>